Hello, very welcome to my Vanitar. Have you ever built a variable switching supply? If no, now it's your turn. So let's take off and get some energy. So, perfect. Let me remind you that I publish the videos routinely. So, please subscribe to the channel and enable the notification bell to not to miss a video. Also, don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. So, for the first step, let me explain the circuit a little bit. The main component of this switching power supply is the LM2576-80J chip. It's a popular DC to DC buck converter chip and many electronic designers know about it. I use these capacitors here to reduce the input noise. This inductor, diode and these two capacitors are the typical buck converter essential components. The voltage on the feedback pin of the switching regulator defines the output voltage and current. So, the R6 potentiometer sets the voltage and the R7 potentiometer sets the current limit. For the current sensing, I used four resistors in parallel that makes one stable shunt resistor. The potential difference on the shunt resistor gets amplified by the IC1 and injected to the feedback pin by a 4148 diode. This 78L09 regulator makes a fixed and stable supply for the IC1 amplifier. I use the Symaxis component libraries for the two main components because I didn't want to waste my time on designing the missing libraries from scratch. For more details, please check the reference links in the video description. This is the assembled PCB board. This is just a semi homemade PCB board to test the concept. After watching this video, you can order the Gerber file to a professional PCB fabrication company because I tested the circuit and it works flawlessly. So, as you see here, I have prepared a basic test setting. I applied a voltage around 30 volts to the input, I've put the multimeter on the DC voltage measurement, and I have connected the, the probes directly to the circuit output. So let's turn the R6 potentiometer to fix the output voltage. As I turn the potentiometer, the output voltage varies from 1.2 volt to 25 volts. So let's see, can I reach to this voltage or not? Now it's about 18 goes to 20 24 oops now yes 25.4 looks like to be the maximum voltage 25.47 so now is the time to set the output current limit Let's assume we want to make a 12 volts and 1 amp uh, supply. 1 amp is the current limit, okay? So let's turn this potentiometer to reach 12 volts as close as possible. Yes, it goes to 12.00. Now it's fixed as close as possible. So now I have to adjust the multimeter to measure the current. I have to change the probes. So, as you see, I first I put the multimeter on the milliamp current measurement because I want to show you the minimum current limit of the circuit. As you see, it is around 27 milliamp. Now I turn the R7 potentiometer to increase this limit. So, as you see, by turning the potentiometer, the current limit increases. Now 120 goes to 200 and 300. So. Now maybe we are gonna pass the multimeter threshold. So as you see, I passed the limit, so I have to 
remove the probe and put it on the high current measurement path. Okay, now I am able to measure higher current. So I turn this potentiometer, the current limit goes up. 600, 700, goes to 900, and now it's 1 amp. I set the potentiometer for the highest resolution, exactly 1 amp. Now let's check if the output voltage remained intact. So we should read 12 volts. Yes, exactly 12 volt as we had said before. So let's check the output current again. Can we read 1 amp? Yes, this is 1 amp as we had said before. Okay, now I set the multimeter for the DC measurement again. It's correct. So okay, that's it. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a big like. Catch you next time.